My name is Ifemi Akuwandu from Nigeria, and I'm here today to tell you how I've been telling stories of climate change on Wikipedia. One of the most important things we must do when taking action against climate change is to ensure that we communicate climate change information using powerful platforms. And Wikipedia is one of such platforms because it receives over 23 billion paid views a month. And it's usually the first point of call for many, including young people who are looking for information about a particular topic in an encyclopedia type of a view. Plus, the contents of Wikipedia are not just presented in English language, but in over 300 and something languages. So this is quite a very powerful tool to reach a wider audience. But notwithstanding all this privilege that is being granted by this platform, there is an there is an underrepresented there is there is an under utilization of this platform. For example, on English Wikipedia, we have over six million articles, but only 2,500 articles are related to climate change. And out of these 2,500 articles related to climate change in 43. In, 42, in 52 articles related to climate change in 52 countries are only documented on Wikipedia, while the remaining 143 are not yet documented. And even these 52 documented articles still need a lot of information to be fed into it, reliable sources to be imputed into it, and above all, even with this existing 52 articles related to climate change, only a fragment of it is related to the African region or, or developing countries, and even about women that are working to protect the environment. So these are a call, a clear call to action for us to come and ensure that stories about climate change, local knowledge of climate change in various regions, in various countries, are brought to the global perspective and properly represented on Wikipedia. So this on a representation and this underutilization was one of the reasons that called me to take action in this direction. One of the ways uh, I have improved um, articles on Wikipedia is by working on what we call the lead section. I'm going to uh, use this article, Climate Change in Nigeria, as a typical example. In this article, we can see that. In this article, what we call the lead section is the section above the content box. This section called the lead section is supposed to be more about the summary of everything that is being represented in this page. Many a times when people visit Wikipedia to read articles, the lead page is usually the first place they scan to look for information that they are hoping to find. And this points to the need for it to always be a total summary of what that page is trying to say. And if we look at this, uh, it is not uh, properly uh, up to date about what the total summary should talk about. So I started working on this article to improve every section of it. But before I go over to this lead section, it's very paramount that I improve or feed more information into other sections that will enable me to have a clear way 
that will enable me to have adequate or enough information to fit into the lead section. One of the um, sections I started with was the greenhouse gas emissions. Before I started with this article, I realized that greenhouse gas emissions were only mentioned without, were only mentioned about how it, uh, I realized that greenhouse gases, greenhouse gas emissions in 2014 was mentioned but they didn't uh, clearly state some of the sources that contributes to this, the 492.44 million metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent that was generated in 2014 in Nigeria. So they didn't quite add sources of these greenhouse gas emissions like from the oil and gas production, land use change and uh, what was actually added there was land use change forestry agriculture and predictive emissions but they didn't mention the very important or the one of the most contributor to um, this greenhouse gas emissions which is the oil and gas production so i will make sure that this was captured because it's relevant as far as Nigeria is concerned. Then, before I also started working in this article, before I started also working in this article, there were also some statements that were made here without citation. So I was also quick to add some citations. And when adding information on Wikipedia, we are always very cautious about the kind of information we add to Wikipedia articles. We, are, we make sure that this uh, information are from reliable sources. Reliable sources here will mean like government documents, uh, journals, and IPCC documents in relation to climate change articles. Then, if we also look at uh, this other aspects of this article, in the adaptive adaptation, adaptation, in the adaptive measures that was highlighted here, they didn't categorically state some of the initiatives that are in place to tackle climate change or some of the ways that are being implemented or projects that are being implemented to ensure that climate change is adapted to and mitigated. And one of those um, key projects or initiatives that should be included here, that I'm going to include here, is the new map project, which is implemented in, the, in 21 states in Nigeria, that is tackling the issue of soil erosion caused by climate change and also mitigating the effects of climate change in Nigeria. Then in policies and legislation, it was mentioned, the country's indices were mentioned, was mentioned, but they didn't include the level of progress they have made in the submission. So I added, I, I researched and saw that it was first submitted in 2017. And I was quick to add this to this article. Then when we are also talking about this article, I'm also going to add information about charts that represent trends in greenhouse gas emissions. I will also be uh, quick to look for image files that is going to represent sources, impacts, or effects of climate change in Nigeria. For example, in this uh, article, we can see the image about the orange cellar in this particular article. 
in as much as it was stated here that agriculture is one of the sectors that is being affected by climate change in Nigeria, a more befitting image should be um, an image that is showing maybe a large scale deforestation in Nigeria or showing soil erosion in Nigeria or maybe showing uh, 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 episodes of flooding in Nigeria. And these images, we get them from uh, Wikimedia Commons, which is a repository of multimedia files that are being uploaded under free license. So it means that when we are using these images, we are not perturbed about copyright violence copyright violations, which is very, very important. If I click on this uh, picture, it's going to take us to, uh, it's going to take us to a place we can see more details about this particular picture. And once we go over to find more details about this picture, we are going to see We are going to see the name, right? So this is the source of this picture from Wikimedia Commons. Here we can see that this image was uh, uploaded by this author, Toyosin Onikosi, and this is his own work. And this image was uploaded on October 2017. So this is where this image was gotten from. And this is a repository where all images on Wikipedia articles are usually gotten from. And these images are, these images are actually taken by people who are in these particular locations about that particular topic and being uploaded under free license for people to use on Wikipedia articles. Aside from this, one of the things, aside from this, another way I also uh, improve this article or improve article is by adding these wiki links. These words in blue are called wiki links. These blue links takes you to article on this on that particular topic for example this temperature once you click on it takes you to info take you to um article about temperature and the reason why this is being done is to give more meaning to the article for example someone who is not uh, uh not a knowledge expert in climate change and maybe doesn't understand what landslides are, can easily go to this article and try to get a basic knowledge of what a landslide is. Aside from that, it's also a way to link up to articles that are related to climate change in Nigeria. And this helps or this encourages people to also go to these articles and read them to also ensure more use for them. Then another way that this article, or I also work on this article, is to rephrase sentences or correct sentences that are having grammatical errors or shorten long sentences into short ones. Then looking at this article again, I'm also going to work on ensuring that it captures the issue of um, gas flaring, which is causing the recent black suits that is plaguing 
some areas in the Niger Delta in Nigeria, particularly the city of Port Harcourt, which started in the last quarter of 2016 and is still persisting up to date. So we can't talk about climate change in Nigeria without bringing this in, and we can't talk about it without including its effects on the health of people and generally on the environment. Then looking at this uh, uh, picture as well, looking at this article as well, there is also a need for me to bring in more images that illustrate more about what this topic is talking about. So I'm going to go over to Wikimedia Commons to search for pictures relating to gas flaring in Nigeria, relating to deforestation in Nigeria, uh, relating to soil erosion in Nigeria, and the rest of that. And then this, in as much as it's, uh, it sounds so easy and it sounds so little, and actually it is, but it requires a lot of research to ensure that we uh, to ensure that we uh, include current information and relevant information from reliable sources on this article. Aside from this article, I've also worked on a couple of other articles, such as water in Africa. Um, environmental issues in Southern Africa. I've also worked in climate change in Senegal. I've also worked on the article on UNF's triple C. I've also worked on uh, the article on uh, SDGs number one to 17 and other articles, just so many of them. And right now, just as I'm working on this article, there are also a lot of people who registered. A current campaign that is going on. So uh, if we, we uh, this has brought people work on this to improve information that is already shared on this platform and this info and this uh, campaign is happening or is going to happen in various parts of the world and is also going to happen in Nigeria in about uh next week or thereabouts so we are also going to work with people to a bit more of these articles related to climate change in the Nigerian context. And last, uh, about last year, we also worked on, we implemented an initiative called the Wiki for Climate Online Editathon, where um, climate change professionals from all over the world, we are mobilized and engaged on Wikipedia to work on this article and this really brought uh, a lot of uh, good output we had about 2300 edits in total and we had about 118 people join us from 61 countries and um and um about 229 articles we are in and that is actually a very uh, wonderful uh, output. And this is why uh, it's necessary for us to ensure that we all come on board to tell these stories because nobody is going to tell these stories for us. We are the ones witnessing or experiencing this climate change in our various communities, in our various countries. And how it is impacting Nigeria will always be slightly different from how it is impacting uh, uh, a country in Asia, from how it's 
it will be impacting maybe a country uh, in the West. So we are the ones that are experiencing this things firsthand, and we know what information to include and where to include them. So this is why we are calling on everyone to join in in making sure that while we are taking action against climate change, we are also adequately communicating information about climate change on this powerful platform. On this powerful platform, which is Wikipedia. On that note, I'm going to call plus to action and also um, encourage us to help in mobilizing hundreds of climate scientists, advocates, and youth climate activists that will be trained and engaged in improving, printing, and translating articles related to climate change. This is going to happen for a period of three months where they are going to uh, be engaged in this um, uh, call to action. But we cannot do this alone. So we are also asking or soliciting for partnerships from people, from organizations, to ensure that provisions will be made for these participants, to ensure that provision of certificates will be made quickly available to participants who will take part in this training. And we also provide them with um, some gifts at the end of the editathon to ensure that they are really motivated to do more. And then some um, stipend to, uh, for the Wikimedians, experienced Wikimedians, that will uh, be training or moderating this training to ensure that they will be there to stick out this three month period to ensure that we improve these articles. We write more of the 143 articles that, is, that are not on Wikipedia. And we also translate the already written ones into several of the languages that exist on Wikipedia. This is the only way we can be able to reach a wider audience. Happy Ed Day 2021.